Okay, go ahead. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. No, only one. <laughs> only one. Hi, everybody. <laughs> My name is David. Thank you so much for checking out this video, you guys. Now, in this video, we're going to be catching wild shiners. Now, in Florida, you can find pretty much two types of shiners. There's domesticated shiners and there's wild shiners. Domesticated shiners come from the bait shop. Wild shiners, you can find them in different lakes, streams. Well, not streams, but lakes and, and, and ponds and such. Um, they just kind of live out throughout the state in different areas. All you gotta do is look hard enough and you'll find them. Now, wild shiners are better. And the reason why is because they're usually a lot more spunkier, right? They're more lively, they'll live longer, they move faster, and they're just kind of a crazy bait fish. And they're, because they're so shiny, that shine, as you guys know, will attract uh, predator fish, like largemouth bass, for example. And uh, man, if you put a live, a live wild shiner in front of a largemouth bass, you can just hold that rod and hang on for dear life because guarantee a big old lunker is gonna come up and snatch that thing and you'll, you'll be having a good a good afternoon fishing. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna head down to a local fishing spot down the area where I know of some wild shiners and I hope you guys enjoy. So that sign says security cameras in use. But I don't see where anywhere it says no fishing. There's definitely life in this water. I didn't even catch a fish. You caught some? Oh, he fell down. Well, you better put him in the bucket. They can't breathe there. Here, here, looky, here, looky. Oh, nice. You got some minnows. Pretty here, cool. Here, so I just seen a bunch of shiners swimming like right in front of us. I'm gonna wet this bread, throw it, see if I can't school them up and net them all at the same time. Just nice and wet. And what happens is once you throw it on the water, it just breaks up into a bazillion pieces and starts to sink down and all the shiners will school up onto it. That right there is what you call a five-star buffet for shiners. They go crazy over that soggy bread because it just goes everywhere and they school up all over it. That, I mean, if you find out where the shiners are, that's the biggest challenge. But once you do, you have a loaf of bread and you're set. That is a lot of shiners. That's a ton. Shiners. Check it out. Look at them all. Talk about bait for days. All right, in the bigger bucket, small bucket to bigger bucket. You guys, hey, you see all these little bluegill and stuff? Yeah. Throw them all in the water, please. Okay. Can't keep those ones. That is a lot of shiners. What are you doing? I, I'm trying to get lost my fishes. Did you find your own fish? Yeah. Look. What? What'd you got? I put in my bucket. Um, nice. Look what I got. Uh, uh, Daddy, huh? this is a jumping fish. It is? Jump a lot. That's a minnow fish. guys here's the thing there's a no fishing sign over there and they got cameras in the front so if you take the back way then you won't get caught <laughs> common sense it's a me mario <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, little bass. Back in the water, back in the water. Daddy, look at this. That's a cool fish. Here, show the camera. Wow, did you catch a little a little bass? No, you did. Oh, I know, but come on. <laughs> He's so particular. <laughs> well, we have to get going because those shiners, there's no area around them. I gotta bring them home, so let's go. Oh. Give it to me, give it. Oh, he's very mad. Check it out. Take a little hurt. Mm, how about some? Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty good. He bite you. Put your hand finger in his mouth. No, no. Look, 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 it doesn't hurt. Look, see? Ah. It doesn't hurt. Feels good. No. If it's go follow the sun, it's okay. Try it, try it, try it. Check out how green that thing is. Ooh. Hi, lizard. Let's go. Well, we brought the Shiners home, and boys took a nap. I may have to. <laughs> now we're headed out to a local fishing hole that I've had some luck at. Hopefully we catch something awesome with those Shiners that we caught earlier. And cook it up and eat it. Let's see. out here. So all I've got is, we've got two rods in the water. And the goal right now is I'd love to catch a giant gar, but I'd take anything. But because the gar is a possibility, I'm gonna use a long shank hook. And uh, that's what we're gonna do. There we go. See him right there? Look. See him? Look, you see the stick? See him right there? He just hit the top of the water. Where'd he go? Oh, see him? yeah. I see him! I see him! Wow, I've never seen a guard that's not interested at all. I've never seen that before. Yeah, I just kept, I'm just trying to catch one of these gars that's like surfacing everywhere. All of a sudden, I throw the bait down to the gar. This thing just flies in out of nowhere. <laughs> How are you can I'm wearing sandals, you guys. I don't want to get torn up by an alligator. Are you kidding me right now? I need a branch. He's tired. Look, you go in the back of the car by the stroller and stay in there, okay? Okay. I can't have a break right when I'm gonna go grab him. He's free. Well, that hook, that hook was only in his belly. It wasn't in his mouth. So I was able to just pull that hook right out. And 
I'm just gonna let him go. See you, dude. Thanks for the entertainment. <laughs> Look, you come see the alligator. Come here. Good boy for listening. Very good boy for listening. Come see him. He's playing dead. I'm not choking him. I'm holding the sides of his neck. Come here. Hold it right here. Yeah. Take a picture. Take a picture. Smile, Wait. Luke. Smile. <laughs> <laughs> Let him go. Come on. Let's put him in the water, okay? You ready? I'll put him, Dad. No, you, you can't I'm hold him. I'm going to put it with this. No, here. Get some watch. Here, have a... Say bye. Can nah, he doesn't want that. He doesn't want to eat that. Say bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. Well, you guys, what are you doing? Alligator's gone. Um, you know what? We didn't catch any fish, right? But guess what? We caught a dang alligator. If you ask me, that's cooler. <laughs> Was that alligator so cool? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have so much fun catching an alligator? Yeah, I got it. And not you. You stay in the house and go sleep. <laughs> Did you? Come on, hey, when you snooze, you lose, Dave. <laughs> yeah, Dad. Me. Okay. Yeah, you did? Yeah. You were sleeping, silly boy. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, that was awesome. Now, although we had a blast doing that, in Florida, catching alligators is not legal. Um, although it can happen on accident sometimes, all right? So if you cast a bait out and an alligator eats your bait, well, hey, cut yourself an alligator. Now, some people say cut the line and just like let it go with 10 feet of fishing line hanging off of it. I personally don't don't like the idea of doing that because once you do that, if it's hooked good enough, that gator has a gigantic fishing line hanging off of it. And if he dives down deep enough, he can get tangled up in like logs and things like that. And if it's a small enough gator and your line's heavy enough, that alligator can drown. I mean, it really can. So to avoid that, I decided to unhook the gator, let him go. Had an awesome time and uh, hope, you know, it was kind of, you know, we didn't catch the fish that we were planning on catching, but we had an awesome time. That's what counted. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Look forward to seeing you in the next one.